Hey guys, this is Ravensley45 and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. Today we'll be continuing on with the Mandeville questline, which was recently updated for 6.45. If I'm wrong of the patch number, then I can probably ask my future self to recorrect me in post-editing. So getting back for this new update for the Mandeville questline, I am really looking forward to all the shenanigans with Godbert and alongside with his son Mandeville. Because those two interactions is just so godlike. Not to mention the last recording I did for this one where Godbert literally suplexed the robot into a bolivian. It's like, Jesus Godbert, how manly can you be? <laughs> oh god damn it. And not to mention we need to figure out what's going on with that mad scientist robot head and the guards of Rasahan. So I'm not sure how they played to all this, so we're probably gonna find out in this quest line that has been recently updated. <sighs> I can't wait for Chaos to soon as soon as I st ta start tackling this quest line. Anywho, let us start with this quest and finally continue on with my relic grind because I'm still a little bit upset that there's still tomes that you'll be operating to unlock or at least make progress with your weapon. So maybe you can do like seeing you know, a quest outside the city or something to make it more different. But we will see as we get to that point. Alright, so we're here in Drazan as same as always. And a bunch of other people are doing this quest line as well, since you know this is patch day and everything else. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Delion. By Agent Unknown. Notorious! Or wait, I can't even remember what voice I gave him. Uh Atorian, eager to assume your investigation. I know I am. Do you recall the scrap of alien starship we recovered? Um, quite vividly, I think. Well, Inspector Brandhill has employed his unsettling planetary capacity to extrapolate the damages of the greater hull, and he concluded that the vessel would incapable of flight without extensive repairs. Our most likely scenario then that some unknown agent made off with the starship wreckage, along with Poo Poo's acquaintances. Fortunately, I have a fair idea of whom the unknown agent might be. After all, there is a singularly shallow cabal of a history of concealing extra extraterrestrial activity. Actually, let's head over to the comma first. The experts and others are staying in a dwelling there. And I'd rather not explain myself to us. Uh huh. Sure. All right. So we need to go over here. Wait a minute. Is this the same place Mandeville was in the coma? The first part of the quest line. I think so. Oh yes, this is. The I was right. This is the place when he was in the coma. It is a horrible misfortune, Artorias. Calamart is even. Poor Master Poopo has fallen gravely ill. You say what? But he was fine the last time I saw him. He was so blingly green. More so even. Could he have caught a code? I suppose it's quite chilly up there in Garmalon. Poopo's an alien! Who knows what extraterrestrial disease he might have ravaged with his body? Oh no, Masha, no, don't do that. Nashu's delight are the best medicine for whoever ails you, as an inspector himself can attest. Um, Nashu, I don't think your bombs are the right remedy for this situation. Good God, Nashu! You blow our host domicile to pieces! Put them away! But I want to blow him up. Ahem, if I may. When I was cloned from the inspector, certain gaps in my knowledge were 
patch and supplementary data from the Starship's archives. This information includes a psychopathic understanding of Master Poopoo's physiology, which will be sufficient for me to diagnose his condition. A Xenoman hybrid mind? That explains a impossible incalculation! There we go, with the battle in the mines again, Mr. Manbrid. How does he stand sitting down? I'm not gonna question that. I have it! Mr. Poopy is afflicted with a terrible cause of common code! Really? All this commotion for just a common cold? Ugh. Okay. Alright. Good gods! Grant me strength! As a visitor from Arthurus, Master Poopa has no prior exposure to our Melees. He is thus particularly susceptible to infection, and more likely to experience severe symptoms. Aha! As, as, as I summarize, we must put aside the cause until we have Nurse, our chicken companion, back to help. But even if it's a common code, if there's a risk for a medicine to do him no more harm than good? There almost certainly would, based on the results of my analysis. However, I believe I can synthesize an effective remedy. We need but to gather the ingredients. the greatest you shall have. So, what are we gathering exactly? Most of what we require can be drawn from Master Poopa's collective samples. Otherwise, they're going to be two which we lack. And that is... First of these is the liver of the giant tortoise, a suitable organ that can be extracted from one of the Kuchokapra which wanders the salt wind. Welcome. Ah, the slaughtering of a monstrous opponent. That sounds like the job for a Taurus. Um, sure, I got that. Slay monsters is my speciality. The other material in question is a rare fungus known as the Damstroom. Mmm, okay. Which is, I'm hoping, they'll be found among the great work extensive stock of alchemic regions. Very well, Nasho, Dillion, and I have scoured the alchemist's shelves. Meanwhile, I would ask that you remain here and keep an eye on our alien patient. Inspector Brenhild, you such an expert in all things, Tabernier. Oh, I wouldn't say experts. Simply conclusion of a simple observation. Nothing more. Uh, 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 as I said, I'm hoping that alchemists have the gem shroom we need, but it's really quite rare. Once you have the tortoise liver, would you be so kind as to assist the others in procuring the fungus? Well, sure, as long as I find the damn liver first. Then, let us prolong Master Poopa's suffering a moment longer! Ugh, ay caramba. You seem we have a job to do. Very discussion of the abduction will have to wait. I wouldn't be surprised if that Totoro is oh he's there in the window. <laughs> God damn it, I was thinking I was I was just about to say I wonder when we seeing that Totoro again. Alright. Alright, let us where are we going? We need to go to get the liver now. So it's right outside in this place. Alright. I'm pretty sure I can one shot. Well, I'm not say one shot with a scholar, but I could try. All right, let's go. Oh wait. 
Oh, there's the torrent. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will hunt this thing to extinction. Yeah, I'm not the only one hunting this damn thing. There we go, got the lever we need. Alright, now we need to head back to Hildebrand, back in the city. Oops, wrong button. Oh wait, am I just back in Tavernier? Oh wait, I just remember I need to help out the other people look up, look for the fungus, damn it. I should have went to the Great Works after killing the Torlas. Alright. Slight detour. Ah, Adorius! I have every confidence you will bring a super liver. Alas, the dash room yet eludes us. The alchemist said that the fungus have a few applications, so they don't even bother to stock it most of the time. Then I must put my key in expect the sense to work. Stand back whilst I attune myself with the essence of the dank. Um, how about no, Hildebrand? <laughs> So what, you're gonna channel the inner hobo in yourself to find this shroom? Damp? The word is a damp shroom, and you'll forgive me if I have no feet in your abilities. This close, my friends, and getting closer and closer even as we speak. I hear your folks in the market for a damp shroom. I might have some sale, if you're interested. But how? We certainly are, my fine fellow. Right then. If you give me a moment to retrieve the goods, we can finalize our transaction up in the perfume rise. Was it a genuine clairvoyance or sheer coincidence? I'm not even sure anymore. There are all the fairness when it comes to Inspector Hildebrand's permitual perception is one of the most least baffling talents. In any case, we should hurry to the rise and take this man up to his timely offer. Um, I just want to point out that. Lawfield in the distance. He's not even trying to hide anymore. For the distance that he looks like, he's almost like he's taking a shit in the background. Alright. Let's see. Let's go. There we go. Oh. Alright. Up, up, and away! Ah, uh, here, here, good, good! And here's the dash room as promised. But, just so we know, how do we know if this dash room is the royal legit thing? Oh, glad we are for your assistance. Ta-ha-ha, <laughs> not so fast. There's still the matter of payment. Of course, of course. And how much do we owe you, my good man? Considering the extreme rarity of the fungus in question, 
I couldn't let go for less than one million gil. A million gil for one merely shroom? That's outright robbery. A bargain, I counter. You would pay tenfold my price in the market. I thought they would do you kindness in the light of your urgent need. But I am more than willing to afford another buyer if you were to spit upon my generosity. Uh, uh, um, Nashu, how fair we for coin? We're plump out, Inspector. Well, shit! Looks like I'll be paying for this one again. Ah, then this is a prickly prickle. Where are we going to obtain sufficient funds at such a short notice? Oh god, you're looking at me, aren't you, Hildebrand? God damn it! <clears throat> a middle gill, was it? Or the second option? I, um, have a alteration scroll collection problem. Gotta buy them all, so spend less my savings on the return up to <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, or you can just, you know, play, pause, and sleep all over the way. Mm, I do want to pick the second option, but... <sighs> a million gil, was it? I really want to pick the second option. Honestly, I'll probably just do like another recording and see what the, what was the other option. But I'm gonna go with. <sighs> A million gil was it? Artorias, our savior in every sense of the word. Um, Hilderman, you know you're gonna pay me back the million I'll be spending for this, right? You're not off the hook. You will pay me back this money I'm about to be spending. Give that man nothing! Wait, what? Who's this now? Um... So much for our shrooms, I guess? We have you now, deceitful scum! Your swindling days are over! Oh, thank god I didn't need to pay that one million, yo. Rosahan City Guard, at your service! Receive reports of this man's questionable activities, and been keeping a close eye on him ever since. Damn Shroom is a rare find in the bazaar, to be sure, but only because there is no real demand for it. The price this charlatan quote you was, quite frankly, ludicrous. But thanks to your ignorance and poor judge of character, we are able to catch him in the act. As a token of our gratitude, you're welcome to keep the fungus, assuming you still want it. Um, yes, very much so. This is very, uh, magnificent of you. Well, in some turn of end, we got the room for free, without spending a dime. Bah! You think I enjoy tricking fools out of their coin? If that bastard hadn't declared my job redundant, I wouldn't have need to stop so slow. Well, so much for him. He blames a rising star among the merchant prices for his woes. Van Hood, I believe his name was, purchasing a trading consortium where the man was working. Which led to the reconstructing of the hierarchy, put a lot of people out of work, to say the least. Van Houdin, Van Houdin. I know that name. Something about a acquisition deal gone sour. Father was willing to sell him a slice of this harness enterprise, I think, but buckled when the man offered to buy our family's business in its entirely. Truly, there's no telling how deep the copper of this Valodine are. 
nor do any know the secrets of how he amassed such kingly wealth so damn fast. There are whispers, though, that he solved the alchemist's oldest and most legendary of problems, the transmission of base metal into gold. I don't know about this, because one for a fact that alchemy has a strict law of not transmuting gold, or at least materials into gold, so I'm not sure how this guy managed to pull this off. Unlikely to say at least, but whatever the source of Vanity's riches, he shows no reluctance into spending them. He bought a historic temple to serve as his home, and commissioned a private airship, among other extravagant expenditures. Nice for some, eh? Well, yeah, some that can actually afford it. Grr! The swindling case had barely started before you solved it, Inspector. Ahaha! <laughs> All in the day's work, my dear Nashu. I believe our business upon this seated hill is concluded. Let us hurry to the green back to Inspector Brendio, shall we? Yeah, let's. We can't keep our dear old friend Papu or Poopu. Um, hello, Mr. Mechanical Head. Menacing in the background. I may have muffled his lordship with the secrets of the divine manifestation. But the scent of fear yet gleams in me. I will must redeem myself in his eyes by crushing the most hated foe. Wee <laughs> Um, sure, Mr. Mechanical Head. 